Oh, well, that sucks. So as you guys can see, I was blasting that thing. You need to get this up to at least 450C, which is the softening point. Uh, or wait a minute, is it 500C? I think it may be 500C is the softening point of boiler silicate glass. Let me check that, and I will put that in the comment. But you got to get it up that high, and I just couldn't do it. I was actually using propane for that. It's just too cold in my lab right now. But if that did work, you would see right here, that's our lump of calcium metal. Okay, that would be a pile of gray dust, and that would be your calcium carbide. I have done this plenty of times before. I've got calcium carbide in stock that I made. It does work. I simply couldn't get it hot enough. You can see how this test tube is already scarred at the bottom. I specifically saved this just because I had done calcium carbide in it before, and I was able to actually just dump it out. Sometimes it seizes to the glass, just freezes to it, and then you have to literally break it out, and I was fortunate. But you can see how it is kind of distorted at the bottom. I just couldn't get it that hot this time for you guys, unfortunately. You you want to see it actually start to droop and sag because it is softened, and I believe that's around 500C for borosilicate. Uh, but, yeah, you just add uh, the calcium carbide to water, and you have got pretty OTC um, acetylene. Uh, this carbon that I'm using is carbon that I pulverized that was activated pure carbon that I actually hacked from a water filter because I wanted, you know, the purest carbon possible. So that's what I'm using here. Hope you guys enjoyed, even though this was an epic failure. And I'll see you next time.